Quick to hit you in the face, know it's true you win the price Here to kick the fucking jams, hit them with some heavy bass My anger's a suspect, so toxic I waste The negative outlook, I'm focused on hate Hey, what's up, YouTube? I got another unboxing video, and this one comes from Home Depot. You can see what it is right there, and let's open it up. So here are the instructions. It looks like they glued it to the box itself. A lot of people were pointing out how huge the hands are, and they are really huge. And I kind of think they are the same hands used for the Looming Clown archway or doorway. They definitely look the same. Maybe this one might have more detail, I don't know. But they're almost about the same size. Here's an instruction manual. So I guess you can look on the manual or look on the box if you lose the manual. And here is the head. Everybody likes to look at the head out of the box yeah there is the head a very big head i think it is the same size as the looming clown's head as well it is plastic for some reason i thought this was foam because the inside in the video looked very like foam material so it looks like it's built the same way as the looming clown the eyes pretty much look the same how they light up on the looming clown he has the same mouth all the way around and then this part's just movable and when it closes you can hear it close but yeah and it is not a full head oh and it is never mind so i thought it was just like the looming clown where it didn't have a full head as a half head but it is a full head he has a head in the back so maybe they should have done that with the Looming Clown as well because a lot of people were complaining about and myself were complaining that the Looming Clown had half a face and it was very noticeable took away a lot of the good detail maybe they should have did this I don't know whoever manufactured this is the same manufacturer for the Looming Clown but if they're different they need to take some notes but if they're the same they should have done the same thing they did with this all right he is all set up he was a little bit kind of hard to set up but very easily to set up it's just kind of of hard to find certain things it looks really great camera just does not do justice for him he's huge not height wise but his head is huge and his hands are huge he looks really great i don't think they painted the eyes all that well unless that's supposed to be like that but it doesn't bother me that much he is all plastic And his eyes look super creepy and realistic very glossy and the fact that they shine and blink as well they give the illusion that they blink because they go black and then they turn back on all I gotta do is plug him in and see how he works every haunted house needs a couple old rusty toys to give a little deathly atmosphere I'm good for a quiet, gloomy home. Or a really loud one! <laughs> I like my little tune, don't you? It starts out quiet, and then... Ah, it surprises the pants off you! <laughs> I love this job! Let's put a smile on that face of yours. <laughs> Smiles or screams, either way works for me.
Okay, so uh, I was watching him for a little while and I noticed that his eyes aren't blinking like the ones that you see in the videos. His eyes just pretty much just stay lit all the time. I was just hoping to see how the eyes blink in person, but I watched it for a while and there's no blinking in the eyes. I'm not really mad, I just wanted to point it out just in case other people were hoping to see the blinking action. Also, he is very loud. I had his volume halfway and he was super loud. So I turned it down a bit and he still is loud. Whoever the voice actor for this uh, animatronic is, give him a raise because he killed it. The voice is very creepy, it matches him so well. And it just seems like he isn't trying too hard. And the uh, sensor is down here. So uh, try to make sure nothing is blocking it. But other than that, the sensor works really great. and doesn't require all that much movement to make him go off. And that is about it for this video. This is the Jack in the Box. If you guys like it, hit that like button. If you guys want, go ahead and subscribe. More animatronics in the future, possibly some giveaways. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thou shall never underestimate Lord Wilton.